Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer and we continue our series looking at the Gospel of Matthew together and today we're in Matthew chapter 4. The title of today's devotion is When Temptation Comes and our key verse is taken from Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 and it says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Since the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, temptation has been a constant and unrelenting part of human life. Many have tried to avoid it, resist it and ignore it, but no one has ever found a place or a circumstance where temptation doesn't exist. In Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11, we find one of the most monumental spiritual battles of all time taking place. It is the account of the personal confrontation between Jesus Christ and Satan. The devil tempts Jesus in the wilderness of Judea, but it was observed by nobody else because nobody else was there. Jesus was entirely alone. Therefore, it's obvious that what happened is what Jesus told himself to the disciples and consequently Matthew being one of the disciples that heard it and wrote it here for us and he does so to reveal to us the secret of victory in our struggles with Satan and temptation. As the Union Pacific Railroad was being constructed in the United States they built an elaborate bridge across a large canyon in the west. Wanting to test the bridge one of the builders loaded the train with enough extra cars and equipment to double its normal load. The train was then driven into the middle of a bridge where it stayed for an entire day. One of the workers asked, Are you trying to break this bridge? No, the builder replied. I'm trying to prove that the bridge won't break. In the same way, temptations that Jesus faced weren't designed to see if Jesus would sin, but they were there to prove that he wouldn't. Time and time again, when Jesus is confronted by the temptations of Satan, he responds plainly and simply with the word of God. In fact, in verse 4, Jesus gives us a twofold example of responding with the word of God, while telling us that we should not live by bread alone but every word proceeds from God. This was a fight when Jesus pulled out the two-edged sword that we read about in Ephesians 6 verses 11 to 17. Moreover, all the verses are quoted from Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 8. Could it be that Jesus' devotion time that morning had been in this passage of God's word that he'd been reading Deuteronomy? Can you see why it's so important that we study God's word daily? Can you see why it's so important that we memorize scripture and make it part of our lives, meditating upon it? The devil's purpose is to frustrate the plans of God and to stop what God wants to happen to happen. Yet what Satan intended to lead the Son of God into sin and disobedience, the Father used to demonstrate Jesus' holiness and worthiness. And that's God's plan for all of us as his children. Christians cannot be tempted in a way that God can't use for his good and for his glory. James even tells us to consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the test of faith produces endurance, and endurance perfect results, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. James 1, verses 2 and 4. So don't be surprised when temptation comes, but be prepared. And this spiritual battle is waging around us all over time, but our greatest weapon, our two-edged sword, is the word of God. It's not as if we've been left unarmed to deal with temptation but we have the very words of God to enable us to fight it and protect us from it. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the example that Jesus set for us in every part of life. Father, we thank you as we read today of the temptation of Jesus, and we read also that Jesus was tempted in every way, just as we, but that he never sinned. Oh Lord, what a perfect example Jesus is. And Father, we thank you that you are molding and conforming us to resemble Christ that we may become more like him in our conduct and in the way in which we live our lives. Lord, help us to be strong when we face temptation. Help us remember what scripture says by reading it daily, by memorizing it and being shaped by it. Lord, we don't have the strength to overcome by ourselves, but Father, we thank you that you enable us and you give us everything necessary to live holy and godly lives. Father, we just pray then today for each temptation that we face, that as it comes before us, in first and fourth, first and first, Father, we pray that as we face temptations today, that before they come, we be reminded of what your word says and live in a way which glorifies and honors you. Father, we thank you for your love and grace to us. In Jesus' name, amen.